Hello, how are you? This is Rob from Maverick Trading. Nice to join you here. We're going to be covering our levered ETF series. This one, we're looking at the ticker symbol BOIL, the 2x long of Nat Gas. Let's get into it. Before we jump into the levered ETFs, we have to go over what is an ETF, just in case someone out there doesn't know what it is, because it won't make any sense unless you understand what an ETF is. Whenever you hear the term the stock market, that really doesn't mean anything. Look, there's several different exchanges where stocks are bought and sold on a daily basis and they go up and down. There's really no way to say, hey, how are all the stocks doing? And so they created these things called indexes that you could actually track what the market was doing, like the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Standard & Poor's 500, the Russell 2000. And they created these as a way for someone to look at this number and say, oh, the market went up today, the market went down today, but it was just a collection of those 500 stocks that they put in there. In 1993, a firm called State Street created the first exchange traded fund called the SPY or as was called the Spiders. This was developed to deliver the same return as the S&P 500 index. The great thing about these is that it was a stock. It wasn't a mutual fund, it wasn't indexed. It could be directly bought and sold like a stock at any time at a really cheap price. This was a great alternative to mutual funds. Before ETFs, if you wanted to get the same return as the market, you had to pay a company probably somewhere around a half or 1% to run the money to try to get you the same return. Now it's as easy as just buying SPY. And these have options, which is awesome. We're an options trading firm at Maverick, so we absolutely love options on these ETFs. So what we're going to be looking at here is the Bloomberg Natural Gas Sub-Index. The ticker symbol is GAZ. Now again, this is an index. You cannot trade this directly. You can trade options on it, but you can't buy it or sell it. It's simply an index. Now this has been designed to measure basically natural gas futures in short, medium, and long-term contracts. So it's trying to capture what natural gas as a whole is doing, whether it's the front month, the mid months or the months that are far away, it's going to be kind of an average of what natural gas is doing during that period of time. In order to trade this, we need to have a ticker symbol. So we want to trade the dollar sign GAZ. However, we want to trade the GAZ, but we can't buy it because it's an index. So we need to find an ETF that measures it. And we also want to get a little bit of leverage here times two. So we take our magnifier times two, and that's going to give us the ticker symbol B-O-I-L. Now look, they can get kind of cute with these ETF names. Some of them have some funny ones. This is one of them. So Boyle is the ticker symbol for the 2X GAZ return. Here we have the ETF. This ETF is run by ProShares, and they're going to attempt for the B-O-I-L symbol to accomplish two times the return of the GAZ index. That's what it's for, to try to get 2X the return of natural gas. Let's take a look at them side by side. On the left is the GAZ, on the right is BOIL. And let's see if they move together. And you can see they do move together. As I said, the BOIL is trying to match what the GAZ is doing. And you can see it's pretty similar in direction. Now, yes, there's going to be some little differences here or there, but you can see that they are highly correlated together. They move almost in lockstep. So let's talk about how and when to trade Boyle safely. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is short-term trading. Boyle is a fantastic security to trade short-term. These levered ETFs, they're fun, they move, they have lots of volume, and they are great short-term trading vehicles. Let's take a look at one. Here we have Boyle, the 2X natural gas ETF. Now I'm going to be using the bar replay feature here in TradingView. It's an awesome thing. You just simply click on replay. And what happens is it'll bring this little thing and you simply will go back in time just to a random amount of time, random period of time and just click the button. Okay, at this point, we have gone back in time and we're looking at this for a potential trade. Now look, at Maverick, we are all about doing what is the easiest and the best, and trend following has been proven time and time again to be the best style of trading. All the moving averages are falling. We're making lower lows, lower highs, 
this is not time to buy this ETF. It's just not time. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button. He's just gonna give us another couple candles here. I'm really not interested at all in going long this BYL symbol until I start to get an uptrend. Now, if you wanted to go short here, then you would get do the inverse ETF of Boyle, but we're only looking to be long here. It doesn't make any sense at all to short an ETF if there is an inverse to it. Okay, we're finally starting to get some positive momentum to the upside. So as you can see here, we now have a 20 period moving average that's crossed above the 50. We're having the 50 flattened out, starting to move higher. I wanna see a little bit more upside before I get excited about going long here. And you can see here, it just came right back down into our range, really nothing going on. However, it did hold those last lows. Once we start to see a little bit more buying pressure, I really wanna see those moving averages start to steepen and move higher. That's really going to be the signal that tells me, okay, now it's starting to go. All right, let's just go ahead and put in some resistance lines here. So somewhere around 46.60, somewhere in this area, there is some resistance here. And then the next bit of resistance is gonna be all the way up this last high. So looking at this for a potential trade, I'm seeing some things develop that it looks okay. I'm not saying this is the greatest trade in the world, but here we are. We have a nice ascending triangle pattern. It hasn't steepened yet. Um, we could absolutely put a buy stop out here at uh, 46.70. Oops, 46.70. So we could put an order out there. Buy stop says, okay, if it gets above 46.70, we want to be long BOIL. We'll see if it gets there. This is why, again, waiting for triggers to get into trades is awesome. Okay, there we go. All right, we've got a, a trigger here. So as soon as you are in, you always have to have protective stop orders. I know for me, I like to use a rising 20-day moving average. It's one of my favorite places. So I'm going to be using trailing stop at the 20 MA. So basically saying, I am very happy being long this position until this stock breaks below the 20 period moving average, and then I'm out, then I'm out. I'm gonna use this trailing stop to see how big of a gain I can make and have a ripcord to where I can pull the chute and say, that's enough, I'm done. Look, this trade's either gonna work or not. All right, made a nice run up. Now, this is where people make mistakes and they say, oh, you know what? I'm up so much. I'm up 10 points. Rob, that's like 20%. Yeah, about 8%. Yeah, about 18%. Guess what? It could be more. You have no idea. You finally picked a good one. Let it develop. You've got your trailing stop down there at the 20 period moving average. Just let it develop. Now, I know it's going to be very difficult at this point for you to say, oh my gosh, it's at 70. I bought it at 46, it's at 70. Now look, at some point, take half off the table. Take half off the table, but let's leave the rest. Let's let our trailing stop do all the work. As you can see here, oh boy, this thing is really taking off. All right, so here we have a pierce, nope, nope. We have not pierced yet below that 20 period moving average. We're going to use that as our stop. Okay, there we go. There's our exit and it's at 90. So this one was about a double. Again, this is why we love to use trailing stops to let these positions run. That's just an example of how to use BOIL, B-O-I-L, as a short-term trade. So as you can see, we got some monster returns out of that trade. However, let's talk about the risk because it's not all great. Yes, it's fantastic when you get it in the right direction and it goes up a huge percent. Here's the problem, that doesn't always happen. So let's just take a look at what happened in, let's take a look at May, 2022. The GAZ went up 19.77%. The return for Boyle was 19.41%. Again, that's supposed to be double. It's not even the same. So you took on twice the risk and you got less of a return 
than the GAZ. So let's talk about how these differentials work. Down on the bottom is the return for the BOIL symbol. And up top is the return for the GAZ. Now you can see, you know, when one's down, the other's down, when one's up, the other's up. But the question is, how well do they track? And you can see here, here's the differential. May 2022, a huge differential, underperformed by 20%. And you can see it's a pretty mixed record. Look, sometimes it will do a little bit better. As you can see, like March of 2022, uh, the GAZ was up 28% and the boil was up more, about 3% more than it should have been. So we always have to be talking about these differentials because that is a big risk of these. You're not getting the actual return. Also, these have higher fees, and this one has a very big steep fee, 1.65% for their annual fee. And then the other thing that's just too bad is that there's really no benefit to trading options. There's no benefit at all to trading options on these levered 2X and 3X ETFs. So let's talk about options trading because at Maverick, we are an options trading firm. We love options. We absolutely love options. So you can't really play these on the levered ETFs. The reason is, is they will simply just make those ETFs more expensive because they know it's going to be twice as volatile, thereby negating any benefit. So what happens is those options, you can trade options on BOIL, but they are going to have wide bid ask spreads. They're not very liquid. And you could do the exact same thing just trading the 1X long natural gap ETS Ticker symbol UNG. All trading, all options trading should be done on UNG. Whether it's a call or a put, that is how you trade natural gas with options. And lastly, let's take a look at just a fantastic way to use it, hedging. We love these 2X and 3X ETFs for hedging purposes. So here's an example. Let's say there's a trader that is short natural gas. They're short natural gas and they think the price is going to go down. But let's say some news comes out that there's a cold spell and that the supplies aren't as big as people thought. They don't want to exit their position for some reason, whatever the reason is, but they don't want to just leave it alone and get killed if they're wrong. So what they can do is they can simply go over and hedge this out and buy $25,000 worth of boil. At this point, they're effectively hedged out. What happens to one side is going to have the opposite happen on the other side. So if natural gas goes up 10%, which is bad for a short position, that person's account is going to go down to 10%. However, on the other side, boil is going to go up. It might not be 10%. It might be 8%. And so it's not exactly a hedge. Or in some instances, it can actually be more where your hedge makes more than you lost on your underlying. But as you can see here, this pretty much hedges the trade out to where this trader won't experience a huge loss. Look, they're great trading vehicles. They're fun to play. Here's the problem. People don't respect them. They don't understand. And especially this natural gas one is really risky. This thing can move 15, 20, 30% in a day. If you are too levered, if you put your entire account in this, and in one day you lose 30%, you're never gonna make that back. That's really tough to get back. So only trade these when you use proper position sizing, always. We really like Boyle as a short-term trade. Now look, a day trade is preferable, but there's no problem trading this thing for two to 15 days. As long as you don't hold it so long that the differentials kill you, and that's what happens with these levered ETFs. If you hold them for 12 months, 24 months, you're going to get killed in the differential long-term. So we only wanna use these for short-term trading. Options trading, trade the UNG. That has the most volume, it follows natural gas. That is the trade to make. And then hedging. If you're short nat gas, this is a great hedge to use in case you want to hold on to your position and you think natural gas is going higher. Thanks for joining me, everyone. That is how to trade BOIL.